the school of culture and history and language is perhaps the only one that is highly concentrated. You could do the similar degrees in other institutions, but you would not get all the concentrated expertise where you can choose from, can specialize in, and then also to develop and then for your future career the prospect and the opportunities and it's all here on site and compact and then taught by the leading experts in the field. I find this degree quite an exciting one and I know students find it exciting just because of the breadth of courses that we have that they can take. Scholars across the school come from a lot of different disciplinary perspectives so you'll be taught with a range of voices about the region and a range of perspectives on the region. There are certain introductory courses that provide a real strong foundation to understanding issues and themes that are relevant across the whole region and also some of the disciplines that are strengths of our school like archaeology, natural history, linguistics, history, gender, culture and media studies. What drew me to the Australian National University was definitely its strong research focus in the Asian Pacific region and what drew me to this degree was the flexibility that this degree offered. It allowed me to explore both the social and cultural aspects of the countries that I'm interested in within the region as well as being able to learn more from a linguistic or like historical kind of perspective. And another thing this degree offers is allowing you to study the languages of these countries. There are a lot of prominent and respected figures that come to the Australian National University or come to Canberra and they often have events and lectures which we can attend. The Masters of Asian and Pacific Studies is not only for students who want to continue in academia, I think it's really valuable for students who are moving outside of academia into many different professional careers. It still gives students a chance to do a piece of research, to really investigate a topic in depth, to gain a deep understanding of a particular topic, a particular region, a particular discipline that I think can then form a foundation for many other more practical approaches that you might have in your professional life to understanding and working and engaging in the Asia Pacific region. Students go straight into a government job and then they covered the very wide areas, foreign affairs, trade, defense, various intelligence agencies, as well as private companies and organizations. We have over the years, so many of our students landed in these very high level challenging jobs, really testify the strength of the course and the programs that the School of Cultural History and Languages offer. Our master's degree, with its strong humanities basis, gives them a foundation that you're developing policies with an understanding of how the implementation of those policies will affect individual people in their everyday lives. And I think that our students go into positions where they're really shaping the future of how we understand and how we solve some of our global challenges within the Asia-Pacific region.